When you're using a method feeder, you have to recast every few minutes or so to get a better bait on the bottom of the lake. Then all the carp will come in and choose your bait over all the rest. That's why you have to use a high attractive bait or even like a red pellet, something like that. Bait like this would be perfect. It's nice, nice smell and it's bright. Um, the carp will see it. So I'm going to recast now and let's catch some more fish. knocks like that and the line loosens you have to tighten it up just by a little turn of the reel and it will give more tension for when the carp picks up the bait and feels the weight of the feeder and that's how it just snapped off I need to tie up a new rig so I thought I'd show you so what you need is an inline method feeder any size that you want you need a quick link of your choice but I like to use this little one and you need a hair rig so with your main line you have to thread it through the top of the feeder the, the one with the pointy bit out through the bottom and then at the end of your line that's through the feeder tie an overhand loop as big as you want but smaller the better once you've tied that knot loop you have to get your little connector squeeze the top bit the bottom and then put your loop through the little gap on one side so it's like that so it's like that 
and then push the little bead in the middle back to the other side to the other side so that you can put the hair rig on okay so I've done that then with the little loop the end of the hair rig do the same but on the other side like that and then push the bead into the middle and you have done and now you have your method feeder Chunky little common gave up such a big scrap, it came right to the surface. Just proves that you can catch any type of fish on the method feeder. I've had F1s, had a little chunky cut like this, had mirrors, scaly things, had everything all on the one method feeder that I showed you. It's totally awesome. Get back and catch some more. fish on <coughs> doesn't feel huge you can catch fish big and small on this method it's, it's good all round fishing method Came out in the net. How lucky is it? I? Little F1. These fish are amazing in matches to get a big weight. And they have quite a little big, bit, little big bellies. Let's get him back. Catch some more. The bait I'm using for this session is on the feeder. I am putting the mould just there. And with this, I am putting. onto the quick stop like that just a little oily hooker pellet just on the hook like so and that's loads and loads of attraction and then once you've done this and you want to need to put some ground weight on the feeder but I have um, pellet that you squeeze and it goes into a ball. So what I want to do is put my hook bait into the bottom like that. Put a few pellets over the top. Squish it down a little bit. And then put some more in to fill it up to the top. And then you put your method feeder on the top and squish it. Squish it down. Then on the bottom you press this and it'll give you your feeder on a mould with the hook bait on the top and that easy to cast and it'll get you a fish. That's the bait I'm using for my session. Because I'm bait. using hard pellets from the packet and they won't go on the stop quick properly so I have to soak them to make them soft enough to go on the hair and these ones they're really nice smelling and they have a really nice colour and I've had caught many carp on these in matches 